everybody, it's Jen from Makeup MVP. Um, today I'm going to share with you my May 2014 monthly favorite. First product I want to share with you is, I think it's called Agave or Agave. Um, it's healing oil, oil treatment. Um, I got this from Sephora. I got the four fluid ounce bottle. Um, the four fluid ounce um, comes with a little pump. The other one I think it looked like I think it was two ounces and it came with like a dropper and under the reviews it said it was like really messy to use so I just opted for the bigger one so I could get the pump which I haven't had any problems with this at all um, the pump works great and um, I did I think I did get a free sample of this before I um, bought it so I knew um, that I really like it so that's one of the reasons why I got the bigger um, size and um, what it states it that it smooths, restores, and transforms unmanageable frizzy hair. Work a small amount through damp dry hair, blow dry and iron with bioionic tools. I rarely blow dry my hair or iron it. Um, I mostly just get out of the shower. I put this on, on the ends, and then I put mousse and I let it air dry. It really shapes my curls and makes it very soft and frizz free. Um, so I'm sure if you used it and ironed it, you'd have soft silky hair, it's totally worth it. I love this and when I use this all up, which I got this around Christmas time, I've only used half a bottle, but when I do use it up, I will be buying another one. Um, my next favorite is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Protecting Light Moisturizer. I got this from Rite Aid, I think, and I believe it was under 10 bucks and it has an SPF 15 and let me see it has very very little ingredients it's two vitamins three skin loving ingredients and zero artificial perfumes or dyes so it's very simple with the brand states and it's very light it moisturizes really nicely it doesn't leave me feeling greasy or oily and it just it absorbs in my skin very nice the next favorite item product is Urban Decay's Naked Skin Foundation love this foundation it is so far the best foundation I've found for my skin um, I have the shade 4.5 um, and it's, it's a very, I would say, light to medium coverage. Um, I like that compared to full coverage because it looks more natural. Um, it's very liquidy, so it soaks up and it's like sponges and brushes really quickly. So I usually use my Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki brush to put this on it, and it puts it on very, very good. Um, my skin looks pretty much flawless with it on. Um, so I really enjoy this um, foundation, so you should check that out. The concealer that I've been using and loving is the Lancome um, concealer. It's the waterproof under eye concealer. It has this weird word, F Ephesurns. I know I'm not saying it right, but I have it in the color beige 3 neutral and it works really well underneath your eyes. It's waterproof so especially during the summer months or if you're planning on crying a lot or whatever, it lasts all day. No problem. Then it, it's in a tube and has a little tip. You just pour or squeeze out a very tiny bit is all you need and works underneath your eyes like you get 0.52 ounces I plan 
that this will last me for probably half a year because you only need a very tiny bit. My next favorite is Benefits Rocketeur Blush. Um, it comes in this little cute little box. You open it up. It has a mirror on the top that I never use. I haven't even pulled the film off. I've had this for a couple months now. But um, on the top it comes with this little, little brush. On one side it's um, flat and on the other side it's tapered. So you would just use the tapered side if you're going to use this blush and just swipe it across your cheeks. Um, I don't really use that brush, but for some reason I'll leave it in there. Um, this is the blush. It's a very rose-toned blush. Let's see if I can swatch it. I don't know if you can see that right there, but this is a blush great for beginners or someone who wants just a light color. It's very light, so you can't really mess up on it, but it just gives this natural glow and it's so pretty and I don't think there's any shimmer in it. There's not really any shimmer, but when you first open it up, it does look very shimmery. And I think that's just the top coating, but it is a very, very beautiful blush. And it's my favorite. I use it all the time. It has like a magnetic closing on the box. It's really cute. Um, my next favorite is L'Oreal's Voluminous Butterfly Waterproof Mascara. As you know, I love waterproof mascaras because they hold my curl, so that's why I got the waterproof. I just really love how this combs through and coats the lashes, and it keeps them curled so very nicely. This is, I've been using this a lot. My last favorite is a nail polish, and um, it's the Dior Pearl. 187 nail polish. It's a, I don't know if you can see it, but it's very like iridescent. It's like an iridescent pink, pinky purple. So pretty to like layer over other nail polishes or even if you wanted like a sheer nail polish color, um, this would be very pretty. I wore this in at my friend's wedding. I was in her wedding as a bridesmaid and I, her colors are like yellow and pink and this looks really good with what I was wearing. And I know it's pretty pricey and it's it's part of their tri Trianon edition. So it's probably a limited edition. Um, but I really, really, really love this color and I, I don't normally spend this much on a nail polish because there's so many brands out there that you can get almost any color, but this is something I've never seen before, so I splurged a little bit and bought this. Um, so that's my favorite nail polish. Um, and that's about it for my May monthly favorites. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe so you can stay tuned for my future videos. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!